Hi, I'm Ron at Mountain Laurel Designs, and I'm here to show you the Poco Paniers. These are super light and super tough. Uh, each one only weighs 4.9 ounces, and it's made out of an ultra fabric. Uh, the great thing about the ultra fabric is 66% ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, which is 15 times stronger than steel. So this extremely light paneer has the same abrasion and tear resistance of a 500 or 1,000 Cordura at only about a quarter of the total weight. So a set of these with the straps is around 10 ounces on your bike, which is pretty light for something that's this large and this tough. I'm going to show you a couple of the features. First of all, it's got a whistle lock buckle. <laughs> Just for fun, or maybe you scare off bears, I don't know. It's got snaps at the top to help keep it closed. Because it's a roll top, it's variable volume. You can have it at this size for about nine liters or roll it down tight for about six liters. And it's just one big compartment inside. On the rear is a Hapalon bar tacked attachment point for your rack at the top and bottom. It's also got high density polyethylene piece of sheet in there to give it some stability and structure. When you turn it inside out, you can come in close and see this special ultra tape that is not only waterproofing it, but also re reinforcing the seam with its cross stitch polyester reinforcements, which also adds strength to the entire product. It's 100% waterproof. Uh, one of the things about these light veneers is it is so simple to use. You get two of these, you get some six straps, one's a spare, and four pieces of Velcro one wrap. And the way you attach it onto the rack is fairly intuitive and fairly simple. You want to use at least three anchor points, and that can be either three straps or two straps and a piece of Velcro. If you come in really close, you can see that the Velcro one wrap can just slide down around the bar and then wrap onto itself, and that makes a pretty secure spot. The buckles are extra tough, rated to 75 pound tear strength, which is far in excess of what you'd need in this situation. When you put it on your rack, uh, you just strap the webbing strap around. And I'll show you a little trick about these buckles. Is when you thread the buckle and cinch it down, that's pretty tough. But it's got this extra slot here in the front where you can slide it back through to clean up your tail and make it impossible to slip. So that's a nice feature about this buckle that's pretty easy to use. On the bottom, there's a strap and you can either double it or, or single strap it through to secure it onto your rack. Uh, you look for places on your rack to put the strap to sit next to either eyelets or part of your mounting system and what that does is prevents the rack from moving front to back any. It. it makes it really tough and secure. Because they're fairly thin, they keep a pretty aero profile behind your legs, so it doesn't cost you much there. The, these are so lightweight that even adding one of our ultra dry bags on top, plus the weight of the rack, sometimes is less than a very large seat bag and offers you more space, fast access. Uh, we've been, I've been using these for about a year. I built them for myself and took them on a number of bike packing trips to test them and refine the size. And I landed at this size as being the optimum for most of my trips. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And in the comments below, if you think you might be interested in a Poco Mass Paneer, one that's about 15% larger, leave us a comment.
Thanks a lot.